They're chasing the remote shadow of Grand Cru. Wrestlers Harry Bear along and Abasha next. But Grand Cru down towards the final fight of hurdles is 15 lengths to the good over Nakara Mo. Ben Salem, Wrestlers Harry and Babasha. The final fight of hurdles and Grand Cru is over from Nakara Mo. Then back in third is Wrestlers Harry from Ben Salem and Babasha. And Grand Cru. And we've got a rival to Big Bucks Brown. He's been very impressive this year. But he powers up the Chelsea Hill to land the hat trick. Grand Cru for Tom Skidamore and David Pike. The Carabao of Wrestlers Harry fighting out second with Babasha. But Grand Cru wraps them in the cleave. The Carabao of Wrestlers Harry a photo for second. Babasha fourth. Ben Salem in fifth round with some promise. Then Arcade is Crystal Bonus and K Faramis through beaten horses. In second place, Big Bucks, who again is just having to work to run down Dinast. Murad is three lengths away. On the run down towards the last, Big Bucks has to be switched as Dinast the Grey still leads. Back in third is Murad as they approach the final flight. It's Dinast. Big Bucks is edging closer and just about will be about neck down at the last. They both jump it well. Off up the Cheltenham Hill. Dinast with Big Bucks being shaken up on the outside. But once again, with a sense of inevitability, the balance of power shifts in Big Bucks favour and Ruby Walsh and this terrific staying hurdler will land their second clean hurdle and their 15th hurdling success in a row. Big bucks for Ruby Walsh, Paul Nichols and the Stewart family win the cleave. In second place was Dinas, Murad next, Restless Harry across the bay and 5-3. Rev de Stimula, who asserts down towards the last Barry Geraghty, trying to get every ounce of Oscar Whiskey's class home here, is ghosting alongside Nakara Bo. Rev de Stimula, Oscar Whiskey's got to within a length and a half. Rev de Stimula over. Oscar Whiskey, the acid test. Now of his stamina with a furlong to go. Rev de Stimula digs in. Oscar Whiskey, Barry Geraghty, not asking for everything in time of the hard 100. Rev de Stimula, Oscar Whiskey is driven alongside. Still Rev de Stimula holds on from Oscar Whiskey who's got to with it at Oscar, but he can't get by. Red for Simula, another titanic battle, goes the way of Red for Simula from Oscar Whiskey in the cleave. In third place, Kentford Grey Lady, Nakara Bo is fourth, Crackaway Jack from Cross Kennan, Corto Stone, Love Chen and Carruthers. As they run down towards the last, Big Bucks been out in front a long time. Nakara Bo in second, then at Fisher's Cross and Red for Simula, the final fight, a good leap by Big Bucks. Nakara Bo, a massive surprise on the outside running well. Big Bucks forced now to dig in. Will his fitness last out at Fisher's Cross and the Carabo are coming at him. Big Bucks is beginning to paddle digging in as the Carabo forces a head in front from at Fisher's Cross. The Carabo will land a huge shot in the cleave. The Carabo I think has seen off at Fisher's Cross. His rider punches the air. His first success after so many runs at Cheltenham in a big one. Big Bucks went down fighting in third. Rev the civil next from behind these courts to tie and Boston Bob trails in last. Up the hill now towards the final flight here. Safia de Roe closing down Rev de Sivilla with a top four two. Then Cole Harden on the inside is trying to battle on. Then the Drew's nephew. The race about to unfold. Rev de Sivilla in front here as they race on up the hill towards the last flight. The top four two is poised with Safia de Roe. Here's the final flight now and it's Rev de Sivilla who has the advantage just from Safia de Roe and top four two on the inner. Rev de Sivilla, the ten year old trying to hold off the two young pretenders on the inside. As they race on up the hill on the near side, Rev de Sivilla, Safia de Roo digging deep on the outside. What a battle this is! Rev de Sivilla and Safia de Roo, who's beginning to get up, and Safia de Roo is going to get that just from Rev de Sivilla in second. The top four two was back in third, then a gap that a Cole Harden, a Drew's nephew, and a Loffy last. Leveling up with one flight of hurdles to take. Plenty in with chances here. Thistlecrack, the favourites, coming to take it up now in the orange as he heads down towards the last to camping ground. Petit Zig is still there. The Romford Pele right in the mix also. Nakara Bo on the right, but now Thistlecrack, Tom Scudamore, sends him on, goes on by three lengths, and he's comfortably moved clear. Petit Zig's into second position. The Romford Pelly and Nakara Bo is next, a furlong to go. The only question is how far. Thistlecrack it is, 
who continues his great improvement, runs up the waterline, coasting away with his galliardhomes.com Steve Hurdle. And it's Thistlecrack unchallenged to win this in the closing stages. Petisic's moved into second place. Uh, the Romford Pelly and the car are both third and fourth. Here they come into the straight. Cole Harp with the advantage. You know what I mean. Harry, though, is drawing alongside as they enter the final quarter mile. Bally Optic is behind those in third. West approach in the orange has come from the back of the field. Is running to fourth place and is making progress. They come then towards the last furlong with the cheap pieces on the right. Cole Harden, he's backing away with you know what I mean, Harry, who's still going strongly. West approach, though, in the orange is flying from the back of the field. You know what I mean, Harry has the advantage. Barry Gary now asked him to go on, and he's gone on by two lengths. You know what I mean, Harry? In front, he's maybe idling a little bit late on, but he just keeps on getting better. You know what I mean, Harry? One, Cole Harden second, West approaching third, Bally Optic was fourth. Agripart and Holston move into the home straight together. They approach the last flight of hurdles. Two lengths behind those. Colin's sister, beer goggles, and the world's end. Down towards the last. The green, Holston, Daryl Jacob on the right. The purple and yellow, Lizzie Kelly, Agripart on the left. They will be together at the final flight. They touch down together. Holston and Agripart head up the hill now. Colin's sister's five lengths behind those in third. Furlong to go. Agripart in the purple, just in front. The Green Jacket of Holston is a neck behind in second place. Agripart is defeating the challenge of Holston as they race to the line. Agripart has won, pulls away, wins by two, maybe even makes it three late on. Holston in second, Colin Sister in third, the world's end will be in fourth. Here comes Paisley Park, now he's in the fifth position. West Approach has come to join Black Ops, Sam Spinner is there. Paisley Park coming between them, Little Rockefeller is next, you know what I mean, Harry behind that. Now West Approach, Tom Scudamore on the left in orange, Paisley Park, Aidan Coleman on the right in blue, and this pair draw down towards the last, and they're zooming clear of Paisley Park, zooming clear of all of them. Got over the last safely, ears pricked, he's four or five lengths clear, and he's going comfortably inside the last fair. Long. West approach is second, Black Hop is third, Sam Spinner behind this in fourth, but Paisley Park, he's 8-10 lengths clear with Aidan Coleman, this is impressive. Paisley Park for Emma Lavelle, four from four this season in great style. West approach was second, Black Hop in third, Sam Spinner will run home in fourth. Somerville boy to now Liz Nagar Oscar in second. A length and a half away to Paisley Park, being asked to lengthen in third. Lammy Serge and Kilbrick and Storm, the next pair on the right is William Henry. If the cap fits, is now the back marker. They drive down towards the last. Somerville boy, Paisley Park on the right, beginning that challenge as ever as they move down towards the last. Big leap from Paisley, got over it safely. Look at his ears pricked, he's going well, this fella. Furlong to go, Paisley Park has gone through the lead now by two lengths. Second position, Somerville boys plugging on very strongly in the closing stages. But Paisley Park heads towards the line, ears pricked, listening to your cheers for this great stare. Paisley Park wins, second to Somerville boy. Then in third position, Liz Nagar Oscar, to be fair, and if the cap fits the next. Flight, Liz Nagar Oscar joined from between horses by Champ. Paisley Park is now sticking on bravely. He's now looking to challenge as they race towards the last. And it's Paisley Park near side that's now just edging it from Champ, who's battling away with a furlong to go. Liz Nagar Oscar back in third. Paisley Park's got a length lead. Champ challenging over on the far side. They race wide apart in the closing stages. And it's Paisley Park. He's coming up the Cheltenham Hill to win his third three hurdle. It's Paisley Park to beat. Uh, 300 yards to go. Dashiell Drasher leads. Second position, Gold Tweet, who is still closing nearest to us as they approach the last flight. Gold Tweet comes to join Dashiell Drasher. Five lengths behind those Paisley Park. And it's Gold Tweet who's taken it up as they enter the final furlong and goes on now by a length and a half. Dashiell Drasher in second, Paisley Park in third place. They race towards the line. Johnny Sharon on the French Raider. Gold Tweet is going to win and has gone on to win by two or three. Dashiell Drasher in second.